good afternoon. My name is Victor Corney, one of the organisers of the Time for Change uh, demonstration here today. Um, I'd like to talk about civil liberties just very quickly because um, the bailiff sent us a letter saying that we couldn't have our demonstration until one o'clock. Uh, he was having lunch, I believe. And um, we actually gave him notice that we, our event was occurring at 12.30, but he's imposed restrictions on us. And, uh, well, we obey the law, even though we're not sure what the laws are, and it, neither is he, probably. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting, he sent us this letter, and uh, it's filed as, accordingly. It's called an ad hoc entertainment permit. So you'll be pleased to know that your civil liberties are considered by our Jersey government as an ad hoc entertainment. <laughs> now, one of the requirements of the um, uh, letter is that the organisers should have a copy of the um, letter on them at all times. And uh, accordingly, we do. And in fact, uh, we've got Emil Collins, who's going to talk about what he thinks Emil's going to stay there. Now, Emil is wearing an undertaker's hat, uh, the undertaker for our GST party, hopefully. And uh, he's also got a copy of him, the letter uh, upon his person in his hat. And um, he's not the man, however. Uh, he's a 95-year-old protester. So I have to hand over this uh, microphone to him, and he will tell you very briefly, Emil, uh, about what he thinks about GST and how it's going to affect him. Well, I think everybody has heard me enough times on uh, to let, on uh, 720255, and I've written over 200 letters to the Jersey Union Post, which I've got home in a scrapbook, book all about the states. And uh, as far as the bailiff's concerned, as, as far as I'm concerned with the bailiff, he's got no authority at all over. He's just. Isn't he uh, put in place by the Queen or something or other like that? So why is he poking his nose into our business? And and, and also, as far as I'm concerned, he runs the states very often because he gives them advice and they kneel down to him, don't they? So, uh, you know, as far as we, what we, I say, the only way we're going to get them out We've all got together because petitions for 22,000, 30,000 is just a waste of time. We've got to fill the town, do it on a Sunday. Uh, and if we can get thousands of people here, then we might be able to persuade them to pack it in. But now I'll just finish up with this. I hope that the straw that will break the camel's back will be when the so-called middle classes start getting squeezed. Then they'll have to come in with us. And until that happens, I can't say we'll do anything about it. Because the setup of the states with these little districts, what I want is to be able to vote for anybody anywhere in the island. So they say, oh no, we've got to keep our districts. Well, by keeping the districts, they prevent a lot of people from voting for people who they want to vote. And there's quite a few I'd vote for. Without a doubt, where does the people in my district, four stooges, so I've got nobody to vote for. <laughs> so, okay, so thank you very much for listening to this. Uh, uh, uh.